Hey, what's up guys? Um, I wanted to uh, do a lesson for, um, well, I guess this is kind of like a bootleg song of Dylan's. It's called, uh, What Kind of Friend Is This? Now, this, this, this song never made it onto any album of his. It was just um, recorded, I want to say in Denmark, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, in um, 66 with um, Robbie Robertson. And uh, this was recorded, I guess, by D.A. Pennebreaker for a documentary of the live, you know, tour of 66. And uh, this is this is a real bluesy song. And there are two two different guitar parts going on in it. Dylan is playing. Dylan is, Dylan's part is um, further up the neck. He has a capo on at the seventh fret. He's playing in drop C. And uh, he's playing a um, like a, a G chord way up the neck like this. Um, but the lesson that I wanted to do today was for be for Robbie Robertson's part because while Dylan's doing that, um, Dylan is mainly strumming the chords while he's singing. Uh, Robbie Robertson is <clears throat> throwing in a lot of licks. Uh, songs in the key of G <clears throat> and while Dylan's singing um, Robbie Robertson is playing licks in 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 uh, G so um, while Dylan's uh Robbie Robertson would be like um, C, um, back to G. So for the C, when it goes to the C, you could go to like a first position C7 like this. Um, or just a regular C with all four fingers. Back to G. C7 in this position, or C power chord. And then it's going to go um, from D to C, or D7. We could play the D7 this way. And then alternate when you're playing the D7. Um, jump with your ring finger from the A string, or from the, yeah, from the A string to the low E string. Do the same thing as you move down to C. And then at the end of each verse, it's going to do this little bluesy breakdown in G. And he does something like this, uh, the first time he does something like this. So this is, you're going to slide down this, this is like a, a G7 chord. Well, slowly it would be. So um, 
I actually made a video <laughs> of on my other channel of Dylan playing uh, his part for this and this is a minute and 25 seconds long so I'm gonna play along with this and I'm gonna you know I'm gonna play Robbie Robertson's part and then I'll talk about a couple things after that um, all right so here goes I'm gonna play along with this for a minute something else. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, there, there's a lot of little licks in this. Um, and I wasn't even doing, there's a lot of them that I missed. I mean, Robbie Robertson was just throwing in some quirky little um, bluesy, nice, nice little leads on the acoustic uh, during that session. I tried to, you know, learn as many of them as I could. <laughs> I think I'm interp interpreting it fairly correctly. But um, so the chords are just you know G to C, D or D7, C7, and then when it goes back to the G. Uh, another thing you could do would be. Um, when you're getting back to the G. Which is, um, this is a nice little bend in G, which I think he does. Robertson's really good guitar, underrated guitar player, and uh, this session is a good example of that because he's doing a, a nice mixture of like rhythm, you know, strumming chords, and then he's also playing single note runs and leads. feeds off um, Dylan's part. I mean, both of those those parts sound so good together. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to show you uh, a couple of the licks that Robbie Robertson does um, and the chord shapes and everything. Okay, so... take care of a request somebody requested that I do some some Dylan anything from from 66 so um, 
This one's for you, MMHH. <laughs> I think that's your name. I, I know I'm getting that wrong, but... Somebody requested I do a lesson. I think his name was MMHH, MM... Anyway. Take it easy, guys. Have a good night.